Uh, we have a terrific crisis team, unfortunately, that we have to put in place. Uh, we have uh, guidance counselors, school psychologists, and administrators. Uh, we met this morning extensively. Uh, we'll be open from 11 to 4 today for our students. We've already had some students come in, uh, and we've been working with those students. Our counselors have been working with them. Uh, we're going to provide support to our students, the families, and quite honestly, any community members uh, that need some help and need an ear uh, through this tragedy. How do you explain something like this to kids that's not even explainable to adults? It, it, that's the toughest question and that's the hardest thing to deal with. Um, not that a car accident is an easy situation, but when you have a tragedy to this extent, uh, there are no answers. Uh, I attended the vigil last night. We had about 300 people there. Um, I, I think the most important thing is for people to talk with one another and, and to try and make some sense out of this. And the only way you can do that is to work with the professionals that we have in place uh, and to come in and, and speak with them. So I'm encouraging people to do that. And a lot of times probably just listening to it, these kids? Just listening. Uh, you know, this is a senseless tragedy, uh, and it sent shockwaves through our terrific community. Uh, very worried about the children, of course the adults, but, but our charge is our children in the district, and I'm worried about the 3,400 students we have here in the district. What can you tell us about the two kids that were killed? Uh, right now there is a police press conference at noon, uh, and so I can't share any information of our two high school students that we lost. And counselors will be available for just today, or is it going to go on? Counselors available today from 11 to 4, tomorrow 11 to 2, and by appointment after that. We're here to work with our communities and our families and students. Okay.